232 CD. Good. Could you create a suspicious person call? You can use the MSB uh, for the address and have me just one other unit. Two fifteen. I'll handle the suspicious person. I'll advise on the back. Yeah, it's an interesting boy. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Good, dude. What are you up to today? Uh, you see it. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you from the area here? Or? Uh, I'm from the 70s, actually. What's that? I'm from the 70s. The 70s? Like yeah. the year? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> from the era. From the era, yeah. yeah. All right. But now, are you from Clearwater at all? Like, are uh, you familiar I, with you know, it? I'd rather not answer any questions like that or anything. Okay, well, and here's the reason I, I'm asking okay. is because there is an ordinance against panhandling. Mm -hmm. And so if you told me, hey, I'm not from here, I'm new to the area, and you had no idea about it, then, yeah. you know, it'd be one thing. But if you're like, yeah, I've lived here my whole life. That's, there can't be an ordinance against panhandling because it's free speech. What's that? Panhandling is free speech, so there's, there's no way there could be an ordinance. There is. There is. I mean, so. it would be like the aggressive panhandling and stuff like that. What's that? Aggressive panhandling would be illegal. Why would that be any different? If free speech is free speech, whether it's aggressive or not, well, you fall that, into the same boat, right? No, that would, that would entail continuing to go after somebody and harassing them and trying to force them to force them. Do it. But mm. just asking somebody to say, hey, can you give me a hand? Right. That's free speech. Okay. When you have a sign, mm -hmm. it's no longer free speech. If you're interrupting people in their day, mm -hmm. it's you know, no longer free speech. You're also on private property here. Uh, this is so. city property. It is, but if you don't have actual legitimate business here, then you can be trespassed from the property. Um, so we've been doing this for a long, long time. What's that? Nobody said anything about trespassing. Well, the reason we're here is because they don't want you here. So that, that's what I'm saying. It's basically, you know, we wouldn't be here bothering you or, or anything like that if somebody hadn't called and there wasn't some sort of an issue. So that's, that's all it is. Um, like I said, if you want to hold your sign and walk down the sidewalk and go about your business and you know see strangers as it is and ask for help, that's totally fine. Uh, you can't stop any traffic. You can't be in the roadway doing well, it. That's all and there are ordinance against soliciting in the, like you can't solicit, like door to door salesmen soliciting. You cannot do that without a permit here in the city of Clearwater. Well, yeah, you can. You can't. Or you can be cited. You can be cited. So, I mean, it's up to you. Like, we could go round and round. Like, yeah. this is a tried and true ordinance. It's been on the books for many, many years. We've cited many, many people for it over the years, and it's held up in court. It's been appealed and held up. Probably so, not. what's that? Probably. No, it has. I, I know for a fact because I've done it myself. Say I've Officer been. Moria? Corporal Moria. Corporal yeah. Moria. Yeah. Which officer? Rios? Rios? Rios. Okay. So, are you all body cams going? Yep. Of course. Okay. Yep. Well, unless I'm being trespassed, stay right here. Well, yeah, no, you are being asked to leave. So if you refuse to leave, then you will be issued a trespass warning. And then, uh, and then if you don't leave after that, you'll be arrested. All right, I'll take the trespass warning. Okay. I mean, if, this is ridiculous. You guys have no authority to do this. Yeah, we do. This is so. city property, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm peacefully assembled. So you, this before isn't, you do it, could, check with the city attorney. Check with the mayor. Uh -huh. Call your supervisor. Who do you think called us out here? Uh, and... Ask them about it before you trespass the first property. Because I'm putting you on notice right now. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Uh -huh. I'm putting you on notice. Uh -huh. I'm engaging in constitutional protected activity, safeguarded uh -huh. by the First Amendment. Okay. Trespassing me would be a violation of my civil rights. It's so not. Think about you're not here for, you're not, I don't have to think about it. I've done this before. It's not a big deal to me, man. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm literally, I'm trying to be as cool as possible with you and give you the options. If you, if you want to push your hand out, it's totally fine by me. It's no skin off my back. All right. I get paid by the hour. Um, so, it, it is what it is. So you're saying you're not leaving when I'm asking you to leave? If you, no, I'm Do you have any, let me, let me ask you this. Do you have any legitimate business here at the Municipal Services Building? I'm uh, here to peacefully assemble. About what? Loitering. Okay, you're, you're panhandling. That is not peaceful assembly. You said I was panhandling. You have a sign. Yeah, so God bless the homeless vets. vets. Okay, all right. Have you asked anybody for money? Uh, I'm not answering questions like that, but I am soliciting. Soliciting what? Uh, soliciting. What's that? I am soliciting. What? It's none of your business. Okay, well, you can't be soliciting if you're not soliciting something. Yeah, I'm, just I'm not convinced it's any of your business. Okay. I'm just not convinced it's any of your business. Okay. Okay.
Oh, hang tight for just one second, all right? Uh, to be clear, trespassing, I'll leave under, under a trespass. If just asking me to leave, I'd rather not, but if you're trespassing me, I'll leave. All right, I'll get you a final answer on that.